Hey guys, welcome back to part 5 of the campaign. Uh, I'm doing a little warm-up fight because we have that scary fight with the leader of the other faction over the end turn that's going to be happening, so I want to be ready for that. Um, aim at these toads, please, boys. Everybody can be defensive. Oh, is that fire at will or defensive? Uh, let's do it. Yeah, wrong one. There we go. So they'll take care of that very quickly. The anti-large on those guys and the new range that they updated is just ridiculous. This is our little formation with uh, Thoric at the moment. So we've got the shotguns at the front. A couple of heroes up there as well, just to tank some shots. Uh, all the melee infantry there. Thorgrim. And then the crossbows at the back. And the artillery firing from behind. And they do pretty pretty quick work of the enemy here. Oops, that's a friendly fire. Wee toads! Charge, toads! Beautiful. They keep missing. That's fine. It's fine. Go get into there. The guns are just going to rip them up, so we're not worried about this front here. But yeah, a little bit of a warm-up, just as we get ready for this next uh, fight, which is going to be much less pretty, I suspect. Man, I didn't expect those toads to do so well. I thought these guys would kill them a little bit more effectively, but I guess their janky animation about how they move makes them a bit more immune to our attacks. It's got a couple of abilities, I guess. Uh, where is our spinny boy? Oh, there he is. He did. No, he's not dead. He's one. Grimnir strike. Ow. All right, they're done. They're dealt with. Minimal casualties, a little bit on the front line. That's okay. Anyway, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the last episode. Uh, yeah. This fight is over. So as I said, we got some scary shit happening over the intern. In the form of Astrogoth here. He's going to attack over the end turn. I think we can win. Our main concern would be if he had powerful magic, but he doesn't. He doesn't have his strongest stuff. Uh, he has a bunch of resistance, which we actually have to be a bit wary of, of course. Some ward save. He's got the hammer of Hashut, which is just like a contact effect. But he's only got Ash Storm and the Fireball. This is his only damaging spell, so we don't have to worry too much about that. He does have uh, Flame and Shadow, which is like a, a part of the temple effect that the chaos dwarves get and that is a bombardment that will do a lot of damage if we let it land on us so we do have to be wary of that so try not to pile up too much or get him to waste it on something else but he does get two of them and the cooldown is not that substantial all right let's get this scary shit in the way we're moving on here we go yeah he's attacking all right close to feed it reckons i think we can win this it's a bit of a bummer that we lost that. But until they start heading towards this backline, we're fine. In three turns, we can pop up a Age of Reckoning army as well. We'll actually get one for free too that will spawn here on Malachi. What we've done was move Malachi a little bit closer so that this guy can recruit a full stack in a single turn. So that's his army recruited. So he's got a bunch of cannons, a bunch of frontline, more quarrelers, all the fun stuff. Uh, we are to destroy these guys pretty quick. We don't want to get too close. We've got to avoid guns. They do have a Dread Quake, but that's okay. And then uh, Malachi is going to head towards their capital here. Actually, the gates are Zar. It's not their capital. Oh, yes, it's got the spikes. Head towards their capital and destroy that. And then he's going to head north and take care of all of the stuff up here. Whilst uh, this guy is going to come through, clean the site, fight up, kill him, and then come down through and take the stuff. While this other guy here takes care of everything over here. We haven't found their last settlement. They have four settlements remaining. Um, five settlements now because they just took one. But I only see four. So I don't know where the fifth one is. I've been trying to find it, but it must be down here somewhere. They probably own like Grom's Peak or something or Zuthbar. Oh, they were a war with Zuthbar. That would make sense. All right. I don't think he's going to move too quickly. I think he's too damaged to move. So we'll see. If he does start moving, then that's a bummer. But whatever. He's just higher in Orc Labrix by the looks of it. He didn't turn it. Did he turn it into a factory? Or did he turn it into a... It is a production plant, but he has, yeah. He's got Hobgoblins coming through, I suspect. All right. Let's get going. Start in the black, just attack the silver pinnacle, but he loses. It's a shame to lose his, uh, his trait, though. We're going to want to farm that, because it's great for artillery. But, okay, all to resolve him away. He didn't actually die-die, which is a bit unfortunate, so we'll take the replenishment and see if we can boost our guys back up. Ooh, big fight. Oh, he didn't attack. He must have another army nearby. Oh, no, he doesn't. Interesting. That's going to be good for That's a lot of uh, points there for us, which is good. This guy's just moving around through our territory. I don't think he's going to attack us, but we'll see. Alright, he's got a full stack in here now, but he didn't move out of the settlement. Vengeance! Let's get them. We're going to smash them. What are we worried about? They have a Dreadquake. Obviously, we have to be cautious about that. 
which arrives in what 90 seconds okay no 45 is when it first lands right is that right and then uh lama su a few flying things but they're not going to get through our front line i don't think let's put some healing items on these boys make sure they're tanky and we'll go from there here's a beautiful map see how they attack us it doesn't really matter i don't think we're just gonna crush them either way cannons are gonna protect one way we could even just like sit in the corner and wait for them to come towards us let's find out i think we're gonna leave these cannons facing this way getting ready to kill like all the fast shit that's gonna come our way send the lords up here we'll block this block this cho uh, choke point off they have a, a mage here it's nothing too scary they're gonna get eviscerated by this cannon and uh yeah we'll move cannon up just a smidge so it can fire properly and we'll go from there i forgot about the ability run <laughs> should be fine they've only got the one thankfully they're not smart enough to drop it on our artillery they did get our gun uh crossbows though which is unfortunate you're moving you're moving you're moving you're moving and that's oh, man it's a lot of damage how rude reform boys all right hopefully we can kill that what is that that's a death streaker that's fine we're not too worried about a single death streaker go cannon go do some damage before it even gets close good Let's go. Ow. Oh, boys, kill that cannon. There we go. Right down that front line. That was beautiful. What a shot. I had two large guys getting targeted a little bit, but that's okay. These bull centaurs are going to be a problem. Get them. Come on, cannon. What are you doing? Why have you not taken care of that yet? No, don't move, attack. Alright, that's a lot of friendly fire. Ow. Alright, cool. Cannon's taken care of. We got a lot of kills, but it's dead now. Our front line is one here. That's the important part. Keep firing this. For us, go guys. You need to stop. Change position, I think. Kill that thing if you can. You go beat the snot out of him, please. Performing. Oh, yeah, the Lama Su is leaving. Good. Didn't manage to kill that, unfortunately. So we could have done a bit more to that dead streaker by now, but nope, that's alright. Oh, that was doing a great job against the uh, units over there, though. I think we've pretty much wiped out one of these already. Yep, that's good. They're not coming at us, which is nice. They're just trying to dodge our shots, which is stupid of them. Oh, shit. Cannon. Hey, don't run past. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, one Lama Sud causing issues. That's okay, though. How is this thing not dead yet? Okay, it's dead. This dead is dead. Cool. Well, it's it's broken. It's not dead. Fire that. It's cool. All right, rotate. You need to shoot. Yeah, okay, these guys. Thank you. You're our front line. Go cannons. Skullcracker. Hopefully we can get it before it gets close to anyone. Thane, I need you to run towards the Skullcracker. Has he still not killed this guy yet? This guy is tanky, man. He's been fighting for ages. Let's go, Thane.
Fuck. Fuck. Stop moving and shoot. Don't need it close. I don't know why these guys aren't actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. Alright, get up here. We need a front line. Turn. It's dead. Let's go, go, go. Turn your cannons, boys. Why are you off? These cannons are spending way too much time reforming. Bad. It's really bad. Still hasn't won that somehow. Alright, what's important? What's most important? Uh, let's get rid of these ones. They're basically dead anyway. Let's get rid of these ones. I'm actually not too worried about the fireball, and I'm more worried about the uh, the speedy centaurs. Blow that away. Oh, stay behind the cannons, I'm just in front of those. This guy's still fighting him. How the hell? <laughs> Kill the centaurs, kill the barborn. Kill that bloody lord already. Alright, we won. Oh, kill. That was scary. I thought they were gonna get us. They did not though. Quick three is ours, just the hell cannon left. Revenge for our boys that went down. It's been achieved. Just gotta kill the demons. Good. They're done. Kill the lord. Alright, we're done. Heroic victory, it reckons. That's pretty good. I wasn't expecting a heroic from that. We didn't see that outnumbered. They did bombard us a little bit with uh, this Death Streaker and this Hell Cannon, but once we got rid of those, it was good that we targeted down the uh, Llama Suit early because he, you know, he got it in there and he did a fair bit of damage, but we managed to kill him quick. Cool. Easy peasy. So we're going to pick up a Legendary Lord and chuck them into the Silver Pinnacle so we can protect it. Uh, Set Gore's probably going to get attacked here. I can't really protect it though. Not from uh, Zartan here. He is pretty wounded, but yeah, I don't think he's going to attack it. So we'll pick up our next legendary lord who will be. Let's get Balagar. I haven't played Balagar in forever. Hopefully he doesn't have his debuff. That'd be embarrassing. Chuck him in here. Balagar, the true king of eight peaks. There you go. Green skins, ogres, and skaven. Okay. Well, we end up going that way anyway. And he gets a chunk of missile block for the army which is nice so i lost sight of him i think he's coming this way i think he's going to make his way up here he's probably in the underway stance over here somewhere uh probably here so he won't be able to attack next turn so we'll be able to get this army up and protect this territory and wipe him out hope he doesn't jump over to here and i don't know start killing this stuff but we'll see uh we're two turns away from our highest tier uh, from a tier five settlement balagar is not doing anything yet I would like to bring him over here to fight. Age of Reckoning, Nolengrom. I assume it's pronounced like Gnome. And let's begin the new age. How much do we need? Many, many. 49,000. Jesus, that seems impossible to achieve. Like I said, I don't know where I don't know where he's gone. He might have gone south. Oh, there he is. Okay, good. There's Astrogoth. Perfect. There's 3,000 right there, which is good. Uh, can we underway to get close? We cannot. Okay. So we're either going to get there and protect it, or it's going to get blown up. Either one is okay. Hopefully he doesn't go this way. That would be a little bit annoying. This is out of our way. Uh, he can reach. He's just currently in the stance, which is reducing his movement by 50%. But he can't reach the other peak. So we should be okay. Let's get Balagar recruiting. Yeah. Oh, we got lucky. He screwed up. He occupied the settlement. All right. Yes. We can kill him now. Let's get him. So long, Astrogoth. He's in a settlement, so he just can't protect himself from us, which is great. He still has his Flame and Shadow ability, so we have to be wary of that, but we got so much ammo, we'll be fine. We'll be able to kill them all. We don't have armor piercing, but they don't have armor because all of their units, they've got like a couple of Chaos units. Astrogoth and uh, this guy are the only threats here. Everything else. Oh, actually, I suppose the guns could be dangerous, but we'll shred them with uh, cannon fire. Let's go. It seems he unlocked a new spell, unfortunately. Just making him a little bit dangerous. Shit. That's bad. Wow. Uh -oh. My cannon. Fire boys, get him. Uh, yeah, he's got down nice. All right, cool. Dealt with. Oh, boys, they're right there. What is happening? Holy crap, that took so long. Oh, it took an hour. 
I did not think these guys have like crazy leadership and everything. Oh man, we won though. He's dead. That shouldn't have been that difficult. I don't know why it was. It's, they did shut down our cannons quick and do a lot of damage to them. But yeah, Astrogoth himself was just about 152 kills on them. Wow. We had to kill them down to the last man too. Everything else here retreated. All that was left was uh, these bowmen, I think, that we were killing just then, and these uh, blunderbuss. Oh my goodness. Crazy amount. We lost one of our cannons. That's okay though. Let's have a look at his damage. 15,000. Yeah, he didn't do that much damage, but just... Just took all our ammo. I probably wasted a lot of ammo targeting a bunch of these, like, laborers and crap. Alright, anyway, he's dead. That's the important part. Parzar. Cool. Astrogoth. Oh, sweet. Our magic is stronger. Man, more uh, resistance, though. Is it just for the Lord or is it for the army? 50% just for the board okay well he's basically half immune to magic all right let's keep going time to wipe out first enemy of the chaos dwarves off the map malachi mckyson walked right up to the tower here mr vicious here is screwed let's go a valiant defeat we were to fight it manually but it probably won't be all that interesting let's find out Right, we made it into the settlement. We have our little position available to us here. The flame boys are doing work. The guns are doing work. Basically anything that walks in front of our units just gets obliterated, which is really nice. Get ready for this. Got some speeder boys coming in. Get them. Burn them up. And they're gone just like that nothing gonna attack us anymore we're safe we didn't even bring everything in we just left a bunch of stuff out there i guess we could bring the helicopters in couldn't we bring them over here it's a matter of time they're slowly gonna feed their units over there's no reason for us to approach them as they feed their units over we'll kill them and that'll be our one there is an enemy there there he is <laughs> Welcome to our choke point of death. Spirit of Garogni just floating above. Raining death. It's beautiful. Their fire resistance just means nothing to these flame throwers, honestly. They're so powerful. It's, I love it. They keep standing back up, but. Purple. Should have a look at the other front. These guys have no challenges to their uh, position. So let's move them up. Moving up! There is a little bit of a hill here, so I'm wondering if we're actually going to be able to fire. I guess we'll find out in a second. We've got the helicopters above us, though. Ah, yep, no, we can fire. Go. <laughs> fire, boys! Rip them up. These shotguns are great. They very much remind me of the blunderbusts. They're more like a repeater rifle. All right, looks like we gained another area. Here comes another bit of enemy coming through that way. But not for long. Bam, baby, bam, it's the disco and bam now. Yeah, good luck with that. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Nothing's free in this world. We've got the longer rifles here. They, they have much further range. They can shoot almost the whole length of that. They're protecting their position. Bring the fire up a little bit. Actually, let's just bring both of these guys up a little bit. Let's bring them up quite a bit. Helicopters. Protect them. Heroes. Stay behind. These three here. Gotrick, Felix, and a Thane. A fireproof Thane, too, so he, he can stand in front of the fire, but there is no need. There's nothing left to be had killed at all. All right, next position. Let's go. We have one. It was a surprise hell cannon, though. That just did a crazy amount of damage. Look at this. Two shots that have killed half that unit. The overlords of Zardok. 
gone. Zardok? Zardok? I don't know. Either way, they did. Demolish that. Uh, demolish that. We don't need it. It does give us recruit rank, but now nah, we don't need it. All right, I forgot to record it. We just fought a very hard fought battle against Termicon. He gets this uh, ability where he drops like Nurglings from the sky. That's why our guys all have like super low health, except the Warriors. They're okay. The first one he dropped right on top of the guns and we dodged it for the most part. Uh, and then we still took that much damage. But the second one, uh, they dropped it in like a really dumb place. And the third one, they didn't have enough time to use it. So. We got pretty lucky there. It's got a pretty significant cooldown. I think it's like a three minute cooldown. So that was good. But there we go. We uh we beat Termakan. I'm sorry I didn't record it. My bad. Uh the torpedoes, the troll hammer torpedoes just wrecked him. He has so much health. He has a humongous health bar. And they managed to kill him reasonably quickly. He did break us once, but yeah. He did seven thousand damage. Basically all against Thoric here. Thoric tanked the shit out of that, which was beautiful. Uh, their other hero didn't do a whole lot, and they didn't have the really powerful guy, luckily. The chariots, as per usual, chariots are an absolute pain in the ass, but they weren't too bad. So he is dead. We'll take the replenishment, just because we're in bad territory here. Uh, cool, Termicard defeated. Hero capacity plus three for all heroes, and global recruitment capacity plus one. That's a crazy trap, man. I love it. So we're going to keep farming that trait as much as we possibly can, of course. More vengeance. vengeance. Hopefully we can change stance into a encamp stance. Yes. Okay. Alright, nice. Good. Well done, Thoric. Alright, so Thoric has that now. He also unlocked his higher tier stuff. So let's get the armor piss and missile damage. Yep, perfect. And anti-large seeking on all of my grudge throwers. Cool. Now I don't need to put runes on them. So they're all anti-large seekers, which is good. Alrighty. Quest battle time! It's time to get Thorax's weapon. This weapon is great. He gives him like it makes him an absolute monster in combat. Basically, he has like this lightning strike that strikes where he is all the time. I think oh, this is one where like you have to kill like uh do I know this mission? I think these guys are fighting one another and we like intercept it. And there's like a real big like guy there. I guess we'll find out. Let's go. It is! Yes. The best part about this fight, we just sit back and watch them kill each other. <laughs> Sorry, you can see my green screen. It's very sunny here at the moment. I'm doing what I can to keep the light even, but there's not a whole lot I can do. Clearly the trouser legs ritual you suffered all those years ago did not put you in your place. Now I must be the one to What's a trouser leg ritual? If anyone knows, tell me in the comment section, please. That's the one we gotta kill. It's got like 50, 60,000 uh, HP. It's crazy how much health it has. And all these carnosaurs just gonna go kill those humans. Let me just sit back. You'll see. It's hilarious. Here we go. We'll just go... We'll just go straight backwards. It's fine. Bye, boys! It's not the doom stack yet, so not too much of a threat for us. I wish I could protect these guys a little bit better, but eh, whatever. It's fine. Done and done. They did start very far away from where they should have. What's the range on them? 160. Same as ours. Okay. Dom Grong. Dom Grong. Let's go. Let's shut that shit down. Make them more resistant. Yeah, see, like, they, they're just ripping them apart. I love it. So this is the big guy that we got to kill. He's got 50,000 health. 50,008. Very easy for us to wipe out. Here come the first lizard men to attack us. Oh, and a, oh, okay, and a big boy. Hello. Age, wealth, and skill. Age, wealth, and skill. You go and you want to get this hunter and shut down, please. Like that. Oh, they reached us. How rude. Oof. Thorak getting the shit pushed in. He actually just had low health, I think, so I'm pretty sure it's not doing anything to us, really. Like that. We 
be firing at that, boys. Our dinosaur friends are chewing them up, which is good. This guy's over here in combat with these huntsmen, keeping them away from us and stopping them from firing, which is good. Alright, they're all dead. Nice. Might be worth rotating this smidge now, I reckon. Oh my god. How are you still not... Are you guys not firing? No, they're not. Okay, they can't fire through Thoric, apparently. Which is fine. Annoying, but fine. Shoot those guys, please. Hey, stay on that. Which is done. Frick that guy. Ah, oh, there's a hill in the way. Of course there's a hill in the way. Why wouldn't there be a hill in the way? Awesome. Maybe not both you. Maybe you guys are You two aim for that. This guy's defensive, that's why he's not helping a whole lot here. But once they come over this hill now, they're just gonna get shredded by these guns. Beware, Darwi, the beast tongue is that's okay. I don't know if that means anything. Dread aversion. Ah Predator. He's unbreakable, we know that. Oh, totally well it. Watch this shit. He's got 48 kills. Everyone around him's gonna get eviscerated. Let's see if he. Ah, they ran. Okay, well, he got 75 with that one volley. That's pretty good. Oh, come on. Actually, let's spam and walk behind you. <laughs> Warm up. Drop a runic bomb right there. This guy's coming at us. That's good. I think we can safely reform now. They're basically all broken, right? Shattered. There we go. Yep, they're shattered. All right. Let's reform. Over here. Once that thing changes its mind and starts charging at us, we can uh, wipe it out. Thorak has actually used all of his healing. Well, wow, sorry, he's caught up to his healing bar, I should say. He hasn't used it at all. This should be a pretty easy victory for us here. Should go down very quickly once it comes close to us. Gadagrim, you're a slayer. Good luck. Warlers! Oh, he's already dead anyway. The slayer's pretty much got him. All right. Oh my god, he's throwing us! Yes. Victory is ours. We got the job done, lads. Easy peasy. Great weapon, too. My free army I got from getting to the highest tier. And um, it says we're going to lose this fight decisively if we try to do it this way. But I'm wondering if maybe, maybe, maybe we can burn them all to death. Obviously, the Chaos Warriors are a problem. But other than that, I think we can win this. What's the range on these? 170. So they actually outrange these by a lot. So we can go and kill them with that. That'd be good. All right, I'm going to fight this and uh, you'll see what happens. So essentially what I'm doing is trying to break this barricade down. Every time they bring a unit through, these Iron Drakes just cook them. There are 463 kills already. And if any Dwarven Warriors turn up, I get the archers to shoot so they can, uh, you know, break their damage, uh, break through their armor. And they're also very good against infantry. So they kill them very quickly. So you get a lot of, uh, get a, val a lot of value out of that. But yeah, this is, uh, Sometimes they have to reform because they try to shoot the ones that are through the wall at the moment. Hopefully he doesn't die. He doesn't have much health. I didn't give him any items for regeneration. I don't even know if he can, to be honest. But yeah, they just one shot. It's all you need. Then you can save it. They've uh, they started with like 25 shots, I think. They have 500 kills. There's a lot of enemies in here, though. Yes, we're through the gate. Okay, that's the important part dealt with. Now we can use our other units, which is good. I'm a little bit concerned about the tower. Yeah, I think rightly so. But whatever, it's fine. Burn him. Our boys are going to be able to kill a lot of theirs. It's just they got a lot of armor piercing with these orc laborers, unfortunately. Ooh, ouch. Right. Stop. Stop shooting. Right. Let's go and try and capture this, I think. Into position! Seemed like a lot of that was wasted, didn't it? 
Whoa, he was that one too. Eesh. Much kills though. Nice. All right, come kill us. You too. Save the rest for now. I get that kills. All right, they're out of ammo. They ended on a thousand and ninety-one kills. Cameras have an extremely impressive 342 kills and 20,000 damage. This guy's just, uh, don't cause that much damage, unfortunately. 100,000 damage on the flamethrowers, pretty good. Fortunately, the Lord is just lobbing shots in there, and every time he shoots, he gets quite a lot of kills, just due to his weapon type. I was hoping we would be able to kill him, but it doesn't look like our helicopters are doing any damage to him. No, nope, we're not going to win, but we did do a lot of damage. Mostly probably to the garrison, I'd imagine, but that's okay. Not bad. Not bad. Over Balagar's first fight, the desolation of Drakenmoor. We need to kill uh, a bunch of crap. Nothing too scary in here. Oh, the metal magic's a little bit annoying, but we are quite resistant to magic, so it should be okay. And we have cannons. They have uh, the ability to fire, uh, to summon the Kadai Fireborn, which they never use for some reason. Uh, they have the Flame and Shadow ability on all of their lords, but not their heroes. That's good. So if we assassinate them, although this guy will have it as well, because technically he's a lord, and so will this guy. So they've got a lot of them. Flame Cannons hopefully will get a lot of kills this turn, uh, and we'll go from there. All right, let's get them. Uh, if we could. There's no way for us to assassinate them, unfortunately, so we're just going to have to tank it. I am excited to see how much uh, shield these guys have, though. So they currently are at 75%. Uh, block chance for missile. They are resisting 95% of all small missile arms fire and they have a 10% missile resistance. So I think that probably will bring them up to 100. I don't know, but it feels like it should, right? Is there any way to get these guys high enough to fire? Not really. There's a bloody hill in our way too, which I didn't notice. Maybe I put them here. Yeah, maybe they'll be better here. And then these guys can just go back here. Oops. Go. Cool. All right, everybody is defensive. Let's go. I wanted to kill this guy early if I could, but it doesn't look like we're going to get that opportunity just because their bombardments are going to suck. But whatever, that's fine. Hey, Gore does. You come on a fight? Nah, he's running away. All right, fair enough. We're not going to bother aiming at uh, the troops. We'll leave all those for the flame cannons because we need to get a certain amount of kills with the flame cannons to unlock their uh, next little upgrade. But if we can get rid of the leaders of the, the garrison has a weird name i don't know what it is i think uh no it's not that one all right gorgas cannons are firing at you you shouldn't survive too long honestly with full cannon focus these guys are ridiculously well armored as you'd expect in balagar's armor army sorry because he's also very ridiculous all right can you hit this guy yes all right kill him fireball take us rock it did not and it did not break. That's the important part. Alright, one more volley each and then we're switching target. Alright, good shit. Alright, get that guy. Oh, flame cannons. Why are you not firing? It's definitely curious. Ah, whatever, just stay there. You're not going to be able to dodge it. Bunch of metal magic. We only lost 25 units, so... All things considered, not that bad. Be nice to kill this guy and prevent them from doing any more bloody kills, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Oh, they're broke. You cowards! Does that stop them? Ah! <laughs> you cannot leave. <laughs> Alright, it was now. Those has gotta go. It's an overcast spell. Come on, boys, kill that guy. Why are these not killing faster? Alright. 
All right, flame cannons are getting kills now. Now we're going. Nice. All right, and for that next. Oh, those just cast warriors. Oh. I overestimated those. Okay. Here's the other bloody mage. Aria. That's one down. Good. Oh, God, these overcast freaking spells, man. This is an order. You'll be fine. Come back. Alright, the Lord is dead. Good. Cannons. Change target. That's your new target. You might. Alright, they broke. Good. Go. Cool. Easy one. Oh my god. Just constantly getting bombarded, but that's alright. When you consider what that magic and what those abilities would have done to any other army, we only lost 112 units. That's crazy. That's really good. All right, occupy that. Bermakan has found us again. Uh, we already have the trait, though, on him, unfortunately. So I think... I'm wondering if we beat him now while we can, or just retreat off. I think we'll retreat off. If he attacks us again, obviously, we're going to have to kill him. We might be okay. We might get away. Maybe our allies here will help us. He's still no. Okay, so he didn't attack us again. So what we'll do is we'll kick Thoric out, and then we'll be, we'll beat them. Hopefully, it won't be too rough. It might be, but let's see if we can afford another legendary lord. And if we can, we'll grab that and we'll do it that way. Let's pick up Gromrind. He has the uh, better traits. He's got like faction wide traits that are just ridiculous. All right, everyone's a bit wounded, but let's get him. We managed to get ourselves up to forty six percent ward save. Unbreakable forty six percent ward save. Let's see how we do. This guy's terrifying. He's also unbreakable. They're actually both unbreakable. That's all right. Maybe we'll get some assistance. We do not. All right, so it's a valiant defeat, apparently. I don't think so. We do need to be very cautious of that. This is the ability that does crazy damage. So we need to be very cautious of that, but otherwise I think we'll be okay. This is the ability here. We managed to dodge it. Kind of. Oh, very well. Oh, nice. Oh shit! If they're not attacking us, we're gonna we're gonna wait out all of their abilities. I can't believe we dodged that. I didn't think we were going to. Uh, spread your cheeks, lads! Run away! Oh, I don't know how well we're gonna dodge that one. Eee. No deaths, just pain. That's fine. I don't think it's a two-minute cooldown. We'll see in two seconds. It is. Run! 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 Zero damage. Yes. All right, that's all those done. Okay, we can sit up now and get them angry. Oh, look, they used up their abilities and they're just coming at us on their own. Well, that's good. All right, Termakan. Fight me to the death. Let us go. Here they come. It's the befouled guy. It is. All right. Go, fire that, fire that. Don't worry about him at all. Let's go. He's unbreakable anyway. Yes, we're in the fight. Good. You got boys, you're unbreakable too. Welcome, welcome. Demacan has uh, 20,000 health, 14,000 health, sorry. Selling him for more than he's worth. Uh, Quarrelers, I want you to do this if you can. Oh, don't push through, you bastard. He's really big, so he has a lot of push through, unfortunately. All right, come back. Shoot him. You guys kill those flyers. You are fine there. You go engage that. You keep firing at that. You are fine where you are. Okay, cool. Seems like this is going to be alright. Parmacan is screwed. Yeah. Nice. Alright, are those flyers dead? Oh, yes, good. Hopefully these guys can kill this. He is pretty tanky. We got a lot of unbreakable units here. We should be fine. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Get back in there. They're terror routed. That's fine. I thought they were immune to terror. I guess not. Obviously. Put that there. Let's go. Fire those. Fire those. You're doing good in there, little thing. What about you? Yeah, he's fine. Alright, Thermocarn is dead. Perfect. Let's 
get back on our artillery, even though it's not really doing anything. Oh, this guy isn't dead. Okay, he's right here. Rotate. Yeah, kill the kill the dogs. Are they rock hunt fiends or are they? Uh, they oh, they are rock knights. All right, rock knights are pretty dangerous. I don't think these guys are going to be able to kill them. Unfortunately, they're just not capable of like hitting a moving target very well. But we'll try. Uh, kill those spawns, please. Help with the spawns. Yeah, look at this. Bloody annoying, man. To be expected, though. Alright, cool. I think we're fine now. This guy's under a lot of pressure, but he's actually okay. Go on, circle him so I can use this. Go. Alright, front line just broke for the first time. Considering they're dwarf warriors, they're doing exceptionally well. He will heal up, which is good. Man, look at this guy, he's a fucking unit. I don't want you dying, so. There he goes down. Good. Alright. Chosen are very slow, so let them walk. We can heal a little bit. So we've wiped out one of the Chaos Dwarf factions, well, technically two. Uh, so next we've got the last two settlements of. Uh, this is the war host of Tsar. So they've got Oakenham and way the hell over here, and then they just recently took this off of us. And I think I'm going to leave them with the Howling Rock because his trait increases the range of our artillery by 20%. Which is quite nice, as you'd expect, considering how many cannons we use. So we've got Balagar over here that just took out their last main settlement. Uh, we've got uh, Mal uh, Malachi over here, who's going to take out the last faction that we need to wipe out to finish our grudge. We're at 50%. That, that was a crazy amount. 49,000 was an absolutely insane number of grudges to try and reach. We've got the 24,000. We've got four turns left. Uh, there's quite a lot of grudges available in here, but not enough. Like, there's a thousand each settlement. But I'm excited for some of these settlements. They look very nice. Very cool. Uh, so we'll go down through here, wipe out him, and we'll also come back through this direction to wipe him out. Balagar's going to go camp over here. As soon as he respawns, we will put a new lord in charge. Uh, kill him, then put a new lord in charge. We'll just keep rotating that until we get all of the traits. Uh, all of them to have the traits, sorry. Uh, this is our free army. It is finally up and running again. Uh, we have another guy that is joining them as well, but he got assassinated the second he was spawned. And up to the north, we've got the White Dwarf taking care of this. Uh, they have an army here, so he's got to be here. He respawns every turn, so we'll keep chasing down the trait. Uh, and we'll confederate another legendary lord in a couple of turns. How many turns until we can do that? One more turn. So next turn, we can confederate a new legendary lord and put them in charge of killing Termakan again. All right, let's fight this last little fight. I do have to fight it manually. It is a quite a nasty one. Uh, just because our units are so damaged, if we fight it, we lose all of our guns, which would be a shame, because it's such an easy fight. All right, let's go. Cool. Here we go. The perfect position. This guy is completely immune to uh, any fire damage and these arrows, so these arrows are doing nothing to us. The flame boys ignite anything that gets close, except apparently these guys. <laughs> I think it's, they're just aiming for, like, someone at the back, probably. Yeah. All right. I'll come further across then. Draw them in. There we go. Now we're cooking. And the guns over here are just firing and like obliterating all of those. Which is good fun. Almost done. Alright, next legendary lord, Thorgrim Grudgebearer. Basically, he has a few turns to recruit some units over here. Save Thoric for when we defeat the Zartan. Put him in here, and we got 20k to recruit what we can out of the spirit of Garog before it fucks off. All right, so it's going to go up to here, so it's he's going to have a while. So start with the uh, essentials. Ooh, we could get some thunder barges. Three turns. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, maybe. All right. Two thunder barges. Two cannons. Yeah, it seems cannons. And then some flames. All right, cool. So I think we've moved everyone, but let's have a quick run over. So Malachi's over here, doing his thing. Uh, we have Rangini. This guy's been doing real well. He just took over all these mountain ranges and made them ours again. Uh, this is our free army who's going around making stuff free. Uh, that guy's got his old name for some reason, whatever. Uh, Balagar is here doing that. Grom Brindle is over here. He's about to take out one of their settlements and leave them on their second to last. Unfortunately, they have a settlement here and then they have a settlement over here. 
just a ridiculous place for one of these segments to be. Uh, where is it? It's here. It doesn't have an army at the moment, but it is going to make it awkward for us. The Writhing Fortress. Hopefully we can prevent her from attacking it, but we'll see. Right, let's attack this, and we'll get the conventional go. Not something we have to fight. Occupy. Okay. We can recruit them anywhere on the map. There we go. Conventional. Excellent. Uh, break up in the casks, please. And we'll go with the requisition. Uh, triangulation, sorry. Pop the other guy out. Because we're going to need to put him in a second. Sweet. Uh, calibration. That's a little recap on where we are. We are two turns away from the end of the age and the end of this video. So we'll see what happens. Alright, guys. We got up to 50%. We got the Trom. Still a positive one, which is good. So that's nice. Uh, but yeah, there we go. What do we need for the next one? 20,000, 23,000, that's a lot less. Okay, cool. <laughs> Way less enemies on our uh, on our gates. We will begin the new age immediately. Oh, Malachi just, they all just got a big old debuff. Jesus, look at that. That's so much control just lost. Time is gonna nuke control now. Minus 23 from characters, ugh. <laughs> It should come right if we stand in territory that doesn't have it. But uh, here we are. This is our final positioning. Uh, we've got uh, Fulgrim Grudge Bearer hanging out over here. We're going to go ahead. I wanted to get some of the Thunder Barges, but three turns means that the Spirit of Grugni can't move for three turns, which is stupid. It should be able to like move a little bit as long as you stay in range. But I guess not. All right, and they're, they're 4K each if I globally recruit them, and I'll take six turns, so it's just not worth it. So we'll finish recruiting this army. Uh, what do we need? We've got four slots available. We're going to get at least one runesmith and two thanes, I reckon. So let's pick up a final crossbow unit. What do we want? A helicopter. Or more artillery. <sighs> it's so hard to choose. Also these, these units as well. We get the flame cannon grudge sealers. Um... No, let's save those. I don't want to use those in this. Actually, yeah, let's grab one of these. Let's grab, let's grab the Scrudge Settler and we'll put the other one in the other army. So that was the plan. We'll put this one up here. These are really fun to use. They have like a shrapnel shot, which is really cool. Get rid of this guy. Thanks for your hard work. You are here. Welcome. Nice. Okay, so he's in here for sure. 17 units in there. Can we reach if we do normal stunts? Hell no. All right. So we're done the way over. That's fine. Uh, and then he should attack us over the end turn. So who has this trait so far? Yeah, there he is. Termakan! Oh my god, that's so many Chaos Warriors. Gross. We should be fine, though. We've got a, a decent front line. we got probably too many Engineers, but the Engineers both uh, increase our damage of our artillery, which is why I have them. Hopefully we can kill Termakan before he even reaches us. Yeah, his army's not that scary. He might not even attack. He might just stay in the settlement and try and hide. In which case, we're going to sack it. Uh, can they reach? Oh, crap, they can't. All right, we're not going to sack it. We don't want these guys occupying it. Uh, that's awkward. Hey, look, there's a balloon. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. We have a few things to do now, which is cool. Uh, let's attack the settlement. We're finally shutting down uh, Drazowith, the legions of Asgoth. Which is good. He's got quite a few settlements, though. He has an army right here, which is uh, just hanging about. Luckily, it's not attacking us, so we should be safe. Did I? I thought I... Oh, I got that. That's right. Okay, so we need to get some Thanes for this army, which I think we can get from the Gates of Tsar. We can. Awesome. Which means we can get it from the Desolation. Mine's a... No. Okay, so Desolation's behind us. Sentinels doesn't have any available. All right, cool. Pick up some Thanes from here. Uh, this is a good trait. Perceptive. So is the physical resistance, actually. Yeah, cool. Easy. All right, both of these lads can head over towards uh, this army. And in two turns, he'll be good to go. With a very powerful front line and lots of fire. Good stuff. Uh, we'll send Malachi to take the Scrap Towers. And then over to take the Shattered Stone Bay. Whilst uh, we send... What's his name? Fulgrim Grudge Bearer over to this direction. And we will continue to farm Zartan the Black Carriers for his trait. So Balagar doesn't have his trait yet, so we'll kill him with Balagar. We've got the Darvizar Doom, and that's it. Kill with Balagar, and then we'll replace him. Actually, we'll just do that now before we end. It's an order resolve anyway. We don't need to fight these fights. The Seed of Rebirth. Oh, nice. Sweet. Free region item. All right, second. 
Cannot occupy this. If we occupy this, we lose it. There you go. 15% increase of artillery from my own army. And magic drop chance increased by 40%, which is very nice. And now he has a seed of rebirth. So he's got double regeneration. <laughs> Fancy. Like, no, it's not the same type of regen too, so that's good. And what we do is we reset his skills. So it takes three turns to come back instead of the five. And we get Thoric. And we'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This took six hours to record. I don't know. It just... It was just a slog, just constantly fighting Chaos Dwarves. I didn't think you'd want to watch the same fights over and over again, though. So hopefully I get the exciting stuff in this video. Anyway, I had a great time either way. I don't mind it took that long at all. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.